Hey, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another strong, head-scratching episode of Insane Disappearances. I am your host, Insane Disappearances, once again, coming at you with a crazy story. Well, it's not a crazy story, because it's just, it was just put out there. Now, this is a story about a young man who has been missing for two weeks. It's a very short story, because you know those, those beginner cases about people who turn up missing, they only have like a tidbit of information out there which is a, like a starter point and then you know as the, investi- the investigation goes along then more information will pop up and see by the time they actually get the information out there what's going to happen is they're going to find him they say he's going to be he's safe and sound at home you know so hopefully that's the case because uh, i've heard of a lot of cases where that happened where like this elderly woman i heard about that that everybody would uh, thought was presumed presumed dead and she was fine and alive and back home with her family so this case is, like I said, uh, it's just really getting started. It says here that the FBI and, excuse me, and Percassi police are searching for a teenager who has been missing for more than like two weeks. Oh, excuse me. I was trying to get that out. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. Now, also, now the FBI and Percassi uh, police are searching for a teenager who has been missing for more than just two for more than two weeks. Uh, now Ryan Saxton, which is his name, he's 15 years old. Uh, he was last seen at his at a home in Percassi on July 13th. Uh, now he recently moved from Makungi, Lehigh County, after living in the Quaker Town area of uh, the Quaker Town area the last 12 years. Now he is described as a white male around 5 feet 10 inches tall and 160 pounds with brown hair and blue eyes he was last seen wearing a black tank top and blue jeans now anyone with information is asked to call the Cassie Police Department at 215-257-6876 all right now on to couple more issues first being this so-called um, information that they posted on the internet that uh, a friend of mine uh, one of my viewers had sent to me today and what it is is the FBI of all people is now trying to say that any person who is Promoting conspiracy theories of any kind is considered to be a new domestic terrorism threat. <sighs> People of YouTube, I ask you this. What in the H-E double hockey sticks? Oh, what the hell? What the hell are these people trying to say? First of all, back in the time when the Constitution was first thought up and written you know what they said in the constitution right it says we have freedom of speech so why is it that they are trying to say that is a new terrorism threat which doesn't make any sense to me because the only thing that seems to be threatened here is their ability to keep a secret that's what this is they just want to keep secrets for the rest of their life as military people they don't want people to know about the stuff that we already know about which is kind of stupid you know now granted yeah we know about the stuff but everybody and anybody is sitting here waiting for the government to do a disclosure that is never going to happen people you want to know why because if they do a disclosure that means that leaves the door wide open for people to find out about the one thing they don't want anybody to find out and that's who is in control of them and that would be the shadow government or they also call them uh, the ones in power now I can tell you right now I bet you anything that they're not really human think about it there's always been rumors about the greys posing as military men that look like generals you know and all this stuff and they could be infiltrating the military just so they can have a means of control over this entire planet or over humans alone I don't know, but that is not a conspiracy threat. It's not. It's not a domestic threat because, first of all, the only thing that's being threatened is your ability to keep a secret. 
that you've been keeping for decades from us. Even though we already know everything that you've been trying to keep a secret. It's just that everybody is looking for confirmation that it's real. You already know it's real. You've seen it with your own two eyes. If you go outside right now and look up in the sky and see a bright light shooting across the sky, you just saw an energy with an intelligence or a consciousness moving in a very intelligent pattern straight across, meaning it knows where it's going. It's not a UFO. You just don't know what to call it. What you see in the sky as a ball of light moving across the sky would either be one of those craft, like a disc, or a ball of energy with a consciousness moving through our plane, just passing through. Or it could be so big that it can shoot across the sky and make it look like it's a UFO. So, like I said, this is not a domestic threat. They only, like I said, once again, they only saying that because they want to keep secrets and continue to keep secrets. Well, newsflash, the secrets are diminishing. You want to know why? Because you lied to everybody and you told the truth. You just didn't realize it when you said years ago that you did not have enough fuel to get past the moon. Yet, now, you're saying that you don't even know that, well, you didn't know that our atmosphere was actually a lot larger. And I'm talking so large that it passes, it goes past the moon and the sun. So anything beyond that, it's not actually space just yet. It's actually a barrier. Now, I said this before. Now, I did say something before that I wanted to, um, you know, correct. And it was about what they would do. First of all, as far as the, you know, Area 51 thing and creating an expedition to the edge of our atmosphere. I think I said that something that I know they would do, but then when I thought about it, I was like, well, it could be possible, but at the same time, we're talking about people who will do whatever it takes to keep a secret, even if it looks like it's going to get out anyway. They'll have any reason, any reason at all to cover it up, meaning they're going to say something that is going to augment every single thing that they've actually let slip out for it to get on the internet for everybody to see, okay? So, you know, they, they, like I said, if they know that this happened, if they shoot a probe up there to reach the outer edges of our atmosphere, they're going to hit that quantum bubble, people. And then they're going to have to basically come up with an excuse to explain what just happened. And, of course, being in the dark and at night, which is normally when they send up probes, you're not going to see what hits it. Because, first of all, the, the dome that actually covers the entire planet is transparent, so you can see through it. The only thing is, seeing through it, you still have to know what to look for, because you can still see it. Like I said the other night, all you got to do is look straight up into the sky, and if there's a dark patch in the center of the sky above your house, then that will be the edge of the dome. So... You think they're going to be able to explain that? I doubt it. And if they do, they're going to come up with some asinine reason as to why it is or what they feel it is. You know, and I'm pretty sure they're going to use a bunch of scientific terms from NASA and all this other bull crap. But at the end of the day, secrets are going to come out. Government, you know, uh, what do they call it? Domestic, ter uh, terroristic threat or not, which it isn't. You just don't want your secret to get put out there. That's all that is. Come on, people. Let's not be stupid. You know, I ain't gonna call them stupid. That's, that'd be wrong. I don't do stuff like that. But at the, at the same time, you guys are a trip. You're gonna sit up there and try to make people stop doing videos on conspiracy theories? This ain't got nothing to do with conspiracy theory because it's not a conspiracy theory. It's an actual fact. It's just that it's being called a, consp a conspiracy theory because nobody has any real proof. Actually, they do. Right here. See these? These two things right here on your face? They're called eyes. Okay? Your eyes do not lie to you. They lie to you. With this, uh, what I call, controlled education and controlled knowledge. Think about it. They feed you all this stuff so that you can be able to thrive, live, and work in, in, in a reality that they created. Saying that you have to work, you have to have a house. 
with a mortgage. You got to have a bank that's going to cover your mortgage and all this other bull crap. All these things that we really don't need to be paying for. We're paying for it because they want us to pay for it. They are the ones that put the rules and the regulations and all this stuff out there for us to follow. And the education. And they started from scratch with creating education for schools. Building schools. Creating teachers who have to get paid to teach us this stuff. And what happens? We end up being affected and bombarded and brainwashed with uncontrolled now, with un, you know, uncontrolled education. I mean, I mean, controlled education. I'm sorry, controlled education and controlled knowledge. I got away from that a long time ago, people. Once I graduated high school, I never. Well, I did go to school, but this was before I found out about. But I found out, you know, now. So you know, I still had to do it. Well, I didn't have to do it, but I did it anyway. I ain't gonna say I learned something. I ain't gonna say that I didn't. But I just know that none of that information is going to help me anywhere else. Because I'm going to just tell you right now. Our lives are complete lies. Thanks to them. You know, I'm just saying. So, for those who tend to sit there and wait for them to tell you that these things are real when you already know that they are. All you have to do is trust yourself and your instincts. And if your instincts are telling you that they are real, then they are. Listen to it. Don't keep thinking that, first of all, you don't have free will. Number one, it's a God-given right given to us by the Creator. So we all have free will. But them, they don't want us to go by free will. You want to know why? Because what will happen is we will decide that we don't need them anymore and we can overthrow them. They don't want that. Okay, free will means we don't have to listen to them at all. But see, we have to know that first. We have to accept it and acknowledge the fact that we do have free will. We can even use 100% of our brain, but science and them tell you we can only use either 3% or 30%. When every portion of our brain is active. It's just that you need certain things to stimulate those other areas. Okay, these are the areas that's untouched. We're talking like powder type areas of the brain or... George Malley type areas of the brain, you know, uh, powder, the movie, and phenomenon. Okay, these are all excellent examples of what can happen if you are able to use 100% of your brain. Which you can, you just have to know how to access it. I've done that, and believe me, it is a rush. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can feel the workings of your mind and your brain stimulating from the frontal lobe all the way to the stem because you feel the electrodes shooting out of your brain. Just Bounce, I could feel it bouncing off the the inside of my skull. It was weird, but very exciting. I was enjoying every second of it. So, <clears throat> with that being said, never think that you do not have free will, people. You have free will to say whatever you want, do whatever you want. It's just that they try to keep that under control by creating laws that say free will can get you arrested. Which it does. But it's only because they put it out there for you to be arrested. But if we still do it and enhance our mind to where we can acknowledge the fact that we have free will, you can do it. And you also have to control yourself in order for you not to do the things that actually keep you from having a good life. And the way to do that is to first realize that you have control, number one. Secondly, also realize that you have a choice. That means you can either say yay or nay to a situation in your life that's bad. Okay? Always remember this also. The only ones that can mess up your money is you. And never, 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 never try to control something. Well, never worry about something you can't control. I don't do that either. At least not anymore. I don't ever worry about anything I can't control. You know, so... If I didn't make it, if I didn't buy it, if I didn't do this, if I didn't eat it, if I didn't do any of that stuff, that means I can't control it because I was not the sole proprietor of this whatever. So, with that being said, people, that's the end of my show. I know, I know, it was short. It was only 14 minutes, but, you know, it's late. It's freaking 2.30 in the morning. I just got back from the movies seeing Hobbs and Shaw, which is a very good movie, so you got to go see it. Very much action from front to back, Okay. A lot of funny points, and there's a special guest star in the movie that I was not expecting, you know, so I was very, very pleased with the movie that was.
very action, very, very much action in the movie. I was like this in front of the screen. It's just not in front of the screen, but I was like my 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 upper body was just like leaning forward, just like oh my gosh, so just my eyes were just glued to the screen. It was incredible. It was a lot of action, you know. And, and it was called Fast and Furious, so that means you would think you would have seen the guys in the movie from the other Fast and Furious, but you didn't because I guess this is a new chapter in the Fast and Furious where they focus on Hobbs and you know Shaw or whatever and maybe they may make a guest appearance in the next movie so it didn't show that it was going to be another one but I'm pretty sure it will be since this is a new installment of the Fast and Furious you know family or genre so go see it it's very good and I haven't seen um, a Lion King yet so hopefully by next pay period I'll be able to go see it and then I can you know say oh yeah I like it you know it was it was made just like the cartoon but it was in a live form you know in the CGI so it was very very good very good well I don't know that because I haven't seen it yet but I'm just saying I love Lion King so I know it's good anyway but yeah so I'm going to get on off of here and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night and have a relaxing evening where I can enjoy watching uh, Captain Marvel which I'm kind of mad because I accidentally picked up the regular DVD version I meant to get the Blu-ray version but you know stuff happens but yeah so without further ado do you know how I do do I say this Aloha Mahalo and Ahuiho <laughs> yeah peace out Wahine and Manahune or should I say Wahines and Manahunes so, so you know I gotta go bye